Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to turn this picture into light and particularly we're going to show a way of adding stars. In fact, let's start with stars. So what we need is a picture with stars in. So here's a picture with stars. So control A to C, then control C. So control A, select all, control C, copy. So that when we come over here, control V, we paste it in. You can see here as a new layer. And we're going to just main technique to get the stars through is click on here and select the light and blend mode. And you can see the stars kind of poking through there, but you've also got this happening here. So we're going to make this bigger. So it'll just turn off the background bottom layer so you can see the size of this. So I can just going to roll out here, go to the move tool and stretch this right out so that all that stuff that we've got here is stars. So that when we control zero to go back in again, we can turn on the bottom layer and here we go. And now we've got the stars poking through, but they're still coming out on the land as well. So we're going to mask those out. You can do a painted mask, but a fairly easy way with this picture is to go to the selection brush and we'll just paint around here. And we've got snap to edges selected, of course, around here. And then sort of a bit of shaking about and that'll do the rest. Now then we'll do a very quick refine on this. So we'll just kind of like paint over this a bit. And up here and a little bit down there. And that'll do for now. We'll apply that. Now then, we've got this the sky selected, so we want to use that as a mask. So we select the top layer here. And we've still got the stars appearing down here, but when we click on the mask layer stars disappear from down here they're just up the top so that's great so now we want to control d to get rid of the marching ants and do something about the land here so what we'll do is very simply we'll go to some curves and we'll pull the curves down and this quickly comes fairly nighttime ish and However, um, because we're making things darker, it's also a good idea with this to go to luminosity. And that stops particular colour change, but also you can see that there's, there's still light coming through here, which is a bit of an annoying thing. So here's another trick you can do. Go to the background again, go to curves, and again blend mode down to luminosity. And we're just going to pull the right hand one all the way down. So the sky is, this land here is completely dark. And now we can just going to pull up the middle. So you're going to get a bit of coming out here, but it's, it's toned this down quite a lot. In fact, you can sort of pull this down a little bit. Play around with it till, you, till it looks more nighttime. But if notice the difference, this was beforehand. The lights were still not affected here. It's OK. And it works better with two curves like this than trying to do it with one. Anyway, that's a bit of night time down here. See what else we can do about those stars up there. If you're happy with them like that, that's fine. But here's something else to do, which is to go to go to adjustments and go to the black and white one here. So the stars are all white now. Stars are actually colors, which means you can play around with this. If you turn the red up, you get ooh, some sort of background stuff there. You don't want that, so we'll turn that down. Then with the yellow, you just play with things. See that some stars come out because they're originally yellow or not, so you can sort of put some in. Look at the green ones. Cyan. Cyan will get a bit more. Blue will bring in quite a few if you want. That's kind of over-exaggerating it, so can, let's turn that down so it's a bit, a bit more realistic. A magenta. Maybe just a little bit there. So there we go. That's the black and white helping to control the stars. One more thing we're going to do with this, by the way, is going to put on another mask. Because you can put as many masks on as you like. And so I'll click on the mask here. Then I'll go to the gradient tool. And I'll draw from the top and it'll start with white. And it goes down to grey, which means that because it's on a the mask, then that is the uh, controlling what comes through or not. And in fact, then I'm going to take this here and drag this down because this is for that point at the bottom there. It's changing this color here. 
when that goes to matte to black, then nothing comes through there. So what you've got is more stars to higher up and less lower down, which is kind of useful. Maybe you don't need it that far across, but you can control that gradient of stars appearing there. You can even take the these and, and sort of play with it and it will, it will affect the balance across this guy here. So maybe more of that side. So there we go. Control zero. There's our night sky. And just to show the difference, let's go to history, bring up, there was the beginning and there's the end. Anyway, that's it and thank you very much for watching.